Uh, this painting uh, portrays death and rebirth of a forest um, after the huge um, forest fire around the Haines Junction Yukon Territory. Uh, when forest burns, obviously it's a multiple tragedy for many reasons. First of all, environmental tragedy, uh, loss of habitat uh, for um, a natural species, of course, uh, loss of habitat uh, for humans who live around that area, but also, it is also a natural process of uh, nature. A forest fire is very important to a forest ecosystem, as you well know, um, and it gives a chance to, for the forest to regenerate. Uh, after two or three years, uh, the forest, uh, burnt forest becomes extremely um, vital place uh, for animals to forge, to find new shoots, uh, new roots uh, for, for animals to feed of all different kinds. But also for an artist like me, it creates an extremely uh, beautiful subject to paint. As you can see, the, the dead trees of the spruce and dead poplars here in the sunlight start contrast starkly with the new growth of uh, young uh, poplars and of course the fireweed. This painting is based on a reference material that I gathered this past September uh, in around the Haines Junction, middle of September and it was obviously um, middle of the autumn in the Yukon territory and the fireweed turns beautifully uh, crimson red, others in in red. Uh, this painting, in the, from the technical point of view, was painted first, the sky was painted first, very thick uh, cerulean blue, a little bit of a tail, tail blue with white, with three different layers of paint. While this dried, I worked a little bit on the area in the foreground. Uh, then Obviously, this painting has multiple layers, branches overlooping, overlooping uh, other branches, leaves on top of other leaves. And it was important for layers to dry uh, before I could work on another one. Usually, I work wet into wet, but it's very difficult uh, when you're working with singular branches. Uh, I want to keep the contrast uh, of branches and blue quite crisp. So, in this uh, in this version of, um, of painting, I'm actually painting uh, wet on dry. This area of the painting, for example, was uh, painted wet on dry and then slowly moving into wet, into wet uh, painting style. While that dry, I start moving into the area painting the, the branches, highlighting the branches and when that dry, I came with the final part of the painting, which is the uh, leaves, yellow leaves with highlights of, for the poplar. And also those here in a little bit of a cooler uh, uh, light and yellow. And when everything was dry, I came in with the final touches, the most crisp lines of the grass and maybe some final highlights here on the poplars and some spruce. So here I will bring the camera a little bit closer and I show you the actual texture so you can appreciate that. I know how it is difficult uh, to view the painting either from the video or the photograph. When I'm in a great outdoors, I use the wet on wet technique to create my oil sketches. It is also one of the most difficult techniques to do, but also a very difficult thing to do to translate into the studio work later on. The brushwork has to be extremely precise, dynamic, and the color application has to be dead on.